Hi, how's it going? This is Eric here. So, a lot of people have a lot of issues with uh, just American Truck Simulator, a lot of other games that are just poorly optimized, and I've uh, basically figured out how to, just through other guides and a lot of different stuff, basically how to get it running smoothly, and even like, you could do this with a lot of different games and like make them look even better than they're supposed to, by just making like the extra, like multi-sampling pretty much and all. Okay super sampling and uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by one of the important things to do is just like control shift escape is gonna bring this up and you can go to the performance tab and just kinda get an idea of what you got going on and like memory and how much you have so you have 32 gig of RAM and uh, a lot of times you're just using a lot just in the, already just in the background and everything and uh, you know, 16 gig of RAM is really just not enough to play games nowadays. And so one of the important things that you're going to want to do is type in system properties. Or just go to about your PC. That'll work. Uh, about your PC is advanced system settings. And here in this one, advanced system settings, you'll want to go to the advanced tab. Go to performance. The advanced tab and you'll change your virtual memory. So I have like some multiple drives here and I've changed it. And uh, you can change it to a few different things. People suggest different things to be, you know, more than your RAM maybe, whatnot. And um, so I've uh, included the custom size for these and at least allowed extra like virtual RAM to be used just in case. And when we're gaming and everything, like preferably solid state drive. And, um, you know, sometimes your games be separate from your OS drive as well. Other than that, that's the virtual memory part of it. And then we can go ahead and go to uh, tapping in like game bar. Uh, there's like enable game bar, or you can just uh, type in settings here. And get to around areas and the gaming section. So this might help may or may not you can turn this off see if that'll do it now this is going to disable where you can do the windows g and you can play around with the same settings kind of this and disabling like things like that make sure a uh, game mode is enabled and on uh, if we take a look at graphic settings over here which you can also you should be able to search for that graphic settings here and uh, you want to make sure this is also on a lot of times and to see if that helps and what I've done is also add graphics performance reference and a lot of these is probably already set to high performance anyway with the settings I have but I've uh, manually added them as well so after that another program that I even use still with this is ICLC which you can find at this website I'll try to drop some links here and um, you'll pretty much have this little exe that you download you'll just extract it somewhere to like your tools folder and you can open it up I already have it running in the background so I'm gonna open it up and um, this is kinda what it's gonna look like everything and I just stopped it default it's a lot lower um, you can kinda tweak the settings now this is gonna be about half of your RAM so I'll put pretty much 16 gig of RAM and I have it where it starts automatically in the background and you can tweak some of the like the custom time of resolution see how it does and but other than that I just hit start minimize and that's running in the background at all times and that's ISLC that's going to clear up your memory cache kind of just in the background to help so after that we got uh, NVIDIA Profile Inspector as well as the NVIDIA Control Panel. Now this is going to be for NVIDIA. For uh, AMD you can maybe find some other tweaks and things like that. I'm on the 3060. So one of the things is that you can type in the NVIDIA Control Panel. It gives you a lot of options to do things. And so I mean some definitely some of the most important things is you want to make sure this here is set to lock. Use Advanced 3D Image Settings. I even changed the configure surround physics, make sure that's on my video card. And um, there might be some other things, you know, like change resolution. I went down, I used NVIDIA color settings and changed that to full out, uh, output dynamic range. 
and that's uh, going to make it where a lot more dark and white in areas, which may or may not be good. You'll just have to test on your own monitor with them things. But enabling this, you do get the manage 3D settings and like global settings to change things. And you can even do it with program settings. But instead of doing some of this, a lot of the times, even though I have like max frame rate set, which is pretty important for a lot of games, you just don't want it to just be stuttering, just going up and down a lot. And um, so basically, that's kind of what I've done for some of these things here. Other than that, so I'm not save that, but um, we got NVIDIA Profile Inspector. If you download this here, this is going to give us a lot more options to do some things. So this is the global settings. You can change a few things in the global settings if you'd like. But for American Truck Simulator, which I'm going to go to, which I was just playing around with some, um, you can set it to like 60 frames, maximum pre-rendered frames to 1. And um, you can try, you can mess with some of these things like triple buffering. You usually don't want to have ultra low latency on. But uh, vertical sync, you usually want to have that on a lot of times. See how that does. You could have screen tearing, but you know, kind of have to play with that some. Then over here at the anti-listing, this is the awesome part. This works for a lot of games, like I said. I mean, you can search games. You can add games over here, import them in or whatever, add them. And um, I've turned on some of these settings here, and sparse grid is going to look the best. And I've put that on 4x which is matching the 4 here, the 4 MS, which they recommend. And sparse also looks better than the super sampling. So I'll put it to that and to override any application setting and to all the way down here. Now, you might have to set it to something lower, something higher. I wanted more clarity to be able to kind of see things. And I've changed a few in-game settings. And I can still like up the resolution in-game. And uh, but it's not the in-game settings. They're no longer going to work like scaling and like uh, the anti-aliasing. That's not going to work anymore. Doing this, but overriding is the best option I've found. And yeah, uh, you can play with it. I mean, you can add that and try 8x of the resolution. Add resolutions if you need to. All right. So next up, well, we're going to make sure that is off user defined and these are off as well and set that to 16x this really won't hurt performance at all for the antistropic filtering and I've just added high quality for this to make sure everything's looking good other than that I set it to uh, prefer maximum performance I mean this is it's going to use extra performance might not be necessary but I do it anyway and the shader cache I set to 1 gig and threaded optimization for your CPU to be on and things like that and another thing is I found uh, when I was reading one article was uh, to use this code here for the anti-aliasing compatibility so other than that that is uh, the NVIDIA profile inspector and then I don't think I'm missing anything else besides one last step which is going to Steam and we're going to get there and go to American Truck Simulator. If it loads. <laughs> Alright, so once you are in your American Truck Simulator Steam Library folder area, you'll just uh, go to American Truck Simulator, right click it, go to Properties, and then you'll add this here. And this might be different depending on the amount of RAM that you have and uh, certain settings and whatnot. And in fact, I could probably set this to be even higher, maybe, since uh, I think that's supposed to be like half your RAM. But it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I don't know. I haven't you know tried it. I mean, if you wanted to, really, you could probably do like <laughs> that to be exact. If you really wanted to for like one gig being 1024 um, but other than that you could set that to like 8192 if you had 16 gig of RAM 
and you'll just kind of include these and I'll uh, have that also in the description and once you have that you can uh, try other things I mean if you want to you can overlay sometimes mess up things discord overlay whatever um, I haven't really had an issue with it so I keep that on and other than that uh, we pretty much just kind of test it out we launch up see how it's going we pretty much set up our settings to be how we like and I'm running uh, a lot of mods I just got just in the background so I mean you can you could add a bunch you know some things and like road trains added traffic mods and whatnot um, for the graphic settings now what I have done is I have like another thing but you'll probably want to use full screen but I have like this other application borderless window thing there's probably other programs and that allows me to change this and it still works so this will enhance my graphics if I change that this does nothing anymore but things that hurt a lot in performance that don't really matter that much SSAO or whatever I just disable that a lot of times for like a lot of games I disable depth, depth of field. I keep some of these on here. Reflection scaling. A lot of times this can hurt. Really, it's not going to be that noticeable. Um, unfortunately, I wish there was like a medium setting for grass density, but I've set that to low just to see how it does. And uh, some of these things to kind of medium and whatnot, and uh, that the high texture resolution because there's no medium either. But that should run fine on my video card definitely. And I also have a realistic uh, brutal graphics weather mod that enhances this even more and um, mirror quality um, actually that should, should be medium I think I wanted to set that to medium so I set that to medium and I really like the, the mirror distance it really does not go far but you'll have to see what you can run that's gonna that's gonna hurt and if you have decent enough you know video RAM and RAM go high on that anthropic filtering you max that out got some of this high and I like to be able to see pretty far distances this these settings this is definitely gonna hurt though some of this stuff right here and mirror distance uh, and all that and reflection quality resolution uh, but um other than that that's kinda how I have that set up and um you know, you can use different settings to change a few things for the graphics mod, uh, traffic mod, see how they do, because traffic definitely does hurt performance, I've noticed. And um, the one I'm using that seems to be one of the best or decent ones that I use is the Sensible Traffic Mod. I do like that. Um, I just kind of just playing around with it. And the graphics mod that I use, you'll have to download it somewhere else because it's a uh, 3.4 gig, <laughs> and it's ATS Realistic Brutal Graphics and Weather mod. And yeah, let's give this a go. See how it looks. Just all right. So once you're in, you'll be loaded in, and I just uh, got my mod set up. Just playing around with road trains and all and from this you can see that I have a little bit more of the clarity you know I can look, look around and, uh, well I mean I got the track or or, or whatever so I can uh, look around but whenever you do you can you can tell though that things are a lot clearer I mean I can read these signs you know right here Thompson Road see like in, in the video you might not be able to but that's you know a lot more visible in comparison to some of the other settings and depending on how things go, we might even be able to up that even. I mean, I'm just going to, you know, just kind of show you an example. So we got 4K version here. <laughs> it's not going to run great, but, you know, if you have, like, if you happen to be able to run a lot of stuff, we can tell. Not running great, but the clarity that we got with them signs and, like, the Walmart sign down there. Pretty amazing, really. And you can uh, just play with the settings, see what you like, and what works for you. 
so far with um, even running at 1080 I'm pretty satisfied but even uh, 2k does pretty great really with the settings I have kind of set up and this uh, does great with the mods the convoy and everything and I, I do notice the frames drop whenever I get into like, more of the city where there's a lot of traffic so right now I did spawn into Phoenix so if I happen to maybe we, we you know we can try to test to see um, and hop up on the interstate maybe through Phoenix let's see what it looks like see how it does so I'm running the 3700X and the RTX 3060 32 gig of RAM and I think how the map pause does that and um, yeah Trek our uh, does a little bit weird it's a little scratch but it works and um, just got the G923 steering wheel some of the other ones I would recommend maybe because with this one the spring the brakes it, it's really stiff so we can look around and see so this is basically with the extra anti-aliasing 2k version oh so you basically have to use scaling but sometimes the scaling it just doesn't run as great when you're doing them when you're doing them settings and this just, it really doesn't stutter. I've had barely any issues at all. And there's Phoenix. So I do have one of the mods that might uh, make it look a little bit different. Add some stuff to it. GTA 5 traffic. <laughs> so there's still, really there's not a lot of traffic. And there's still some commands. They, they don't really recommend you do, but if you want to have a lot more traffic, I'm just saying, you could do G traffic like five. That's gonna like multiply. Uh, it feels like. I mean, it says set it one, but that's gonna that's gonna add a lot more traffic. It's gonna start like getting a little laggy now. And there you see them. The traffic's there. Uh, other than that, some of the other traffic mods they add it, but the night time in the middle of nowhere is just way too much population. There should just be no one going in the middle of nowhere in Montana. And um, so that's kind of some of the settings have changed. And I guess every now and then, you know, I'll maybe I'll just have to manually change traffic. Well, and we're gonna wreck. We're gonna wreck at the end. <laughs> I drive, I drive uh, recklessly on here with these road trains. We don't have anything on the load, but you can tell the frames have dropped a pretty good bit because of the traffic. I even have a two traffic on, I'd be pretty satisfied with. There's a copper. <laughs> so I got the realistic finds mod. I don't know if I have the offenses on, I thought I did. Um, it adds a lot more of the balancing and economy and everything. And uh, yeah, sometime I'll do some mods and go over some of that. Other than that, I'll call it for now. If you have any questions, uh, maybe if there's any issues, I don't have a G-Sync monitor. Uh, I have a friend who has like a 144 hertz monitor. He's actually found benefit just turning V-Sync on for video games. <laughs> there we go. These road trains get, <laughs> get chaotic, and you can see you can see so much further with that realistic brutal graphics mod. Alrighty, yep. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps some of you guys out. And yeah, Zark out.